Hello everyone, this is John Kitchener, personal color and style consultant, speaking with you from my office located near Atlanta, Georgia. And once again, I've completed another virtual palette. This one is really amazing because this is a light, bright palette. And it's, <laughs> it's just so wonderful. We use fabric because fabric relates to clothing when you're picking clothing choices. We don't use paint samples because they're too flat, nothing printed, nothing painted. Um, so the fabric really is, is a great choice for seeing the aliveness and nuance in a color. And uh, our file is filled with thousands of fabric samples to derive a personal palette like this. This is a customized personal color analysis palette for the client, Lynette. And congratulations, Lynette. You have one of the lightest, brightest palettes I have done in a long time. And uh, this is just wonderful. This is divided up into different moods. Each color has a different mood on you. And for each person, uh, the mood could be very different. A person could have an orange power color, a purple power color, a yellow one, uh, it just it just depends on what what that person is doing in her case these greens t bright turquoises and blues were the colors that really complemented uh, her skin tone eye color and hair color the best and uh, Lynette's skin tone is a peach going towards gold but it has such a bright luminous quality to it now people ask me again and again how can you do a virtual color analysis from digital photographs that someone sends you. Well, first off, they have to do the photos in bright morning direct sun. And that sun captures the different layers that are within the skin, the transparency, the translucency, and the layering that occurs in the person's skin, along with a variation of different pigments. And that's, what, that's how I can say that her skin tone, uh, she's Caucasian, is peach going towards gold and um, it, it's just beautiful and she has very blue eyes blue towards slightly blue green but mostly blue eyes that's what this range is to get into the focus or the individual when I'm looking at my MacBook Pro now my MacBooks also uh, has the retina display which is the best monitor display of any computer made it's also calibrated to noon daylight for the most incredible accuracy you just can't get any better and from that I can derive the, the uh, actual analysis of the skin hair and eyes with the various thousands of color samples that we have I mean we really do have thousands of samples and it's not like a range is picked actually each swatch is held up to when it's an office appointment each swatch is held up individually to the client to check how light, dark, bright, and subtle they can go. Also, how warm, how cool they can go. Um, there's so many variables within humans that, uh, the human complexion, that it really takes customization to make it, make it work for, the, for them. Um, this range of reds is absolutely spectacular. She's got these bright, bright pinks and these vivid reds, and there's a little depth in her reds, she has about um, that warm tone in her skin is about 10% earthiness, which adds a little depth and a little warmth to her colors. But the, the other 90% of her colors, the whole palette in a sense, is very light and bright. And uh, these are her romantic colors. They're her most feminizing colors. Uh, for a man to wear his pinks or reds, it's a very masculine communication. That's about all that's very specific in colors are the red family. Everyone can wear some shade of red, even redheads can do reds, and they're not just red, rust reds either. Again, these are her power colors. These are the complement to her skin tones. They're very strong. The green in this case has the most assertiveness for her, and the blues are a little bit quieter. And then we have her uh, upbeat, fun, playful, ranges of colors, which are the greens, these wonderful warm yellows, and these wonderful light bright uh, tangerine oranges, which are just um, wonderful to see. The colors, when I was doing them, they have a real delicious, delectable, juicy, sweet candy-like 
fruity kind of quality to them. And I just, it's just a wonderful palette to behold. Um, this woman obviously has a lot of energy and can express that energy through the brightness and aliveness of her colors. The blues here begin her elegant range of colors. Um, these are all called sophisticated, and the purples in this case are also sophisticated for her. Again, somebody could have purple as a power color, or yellow, or orange. Um, sometime I'll inter interview a, a client of mine, wonderful, beautiful woman from Berkeley, California, my hometown, who has blue-green eyes and this beautiful complexion, um, had very dark hair, is now bright light silver, very striking woman, and she has orange, yellows, and yellow-green lime colors as her power color. She's really, uh, Anna's pretty extraordinary looking. And uh, speaking of clients, the closest this uh, goes to is a client, Delin, who's from uh, Utah, who I, whose colors I did about three and a half years ago. Delin is also 90% lively bright. So this is Lynette's eye color, and it's very, it's a soft blue. When you wear your eye color, it's the most calming, most peaceful color you can wear. If you ever have to go to court, put on your eye color. It's the most believable, uh, you look your most believable in that color, also the most compassionate color you can wear. Back in California, one of my clients is an attorney, and she says, I'm gonna try out the psychology of the colors. I'm gonna see what this does. Now. She um, is a, a very formidable attorney in San Francisco, and she meets with clients. She also goes to litigation, and uh, she has her own private life too, of course, like we all do. But she tried out wearing these colors as scarves in, uh, in, against coat dresses that were basically a range of neutrals. And uh, she had navy brown and beige and gray as neutrals. And so when she met a client, uh, to interview a client, to open them up and make them feel comfortable, she would wear her eye color as a scarf. When she went to litigation, she wore her power colors, whatever they were. They were maybe purples and yellows. In this case, they're greens and blues. Um, and then when she would go meet her husband for dinner after work, she would wear her romantic red scarf, which was wonderful. By the way, going back to the sophisticated, these are great mother of the bride outfits. Um, you're supportive, you're present in your color, but it doesn't call that much attention to you. You'll look great in family wedding photographs, that's for sure. So the next step after the eye colors, and these are going from stronger down to quieter, this range are what we call the understated colors. Um, in her, in Lynette's understated colors, I had to go back up into the brighter color, uh, colors in the, in the upper drawers that I have, rather than down in the neutral drawers where they normally are found. I think out of the, yeah, there were maybe four swatches here that were out of the neutral drawers. The rest of these are from the higher up drawers. She is so bright in skin tones. Um, it's, it's wonderful. And uh, so these are suits, jackets, and coats. Uh, Generally not a blouse. They're they're pretty conservative in terms of a color. They're a great alternative to black. She has a wonderful range of beiges and browns. Pretty condensed though. Uh, cocoa brown up into camel, up into a very warm, almost yellow beige. Now, with a person of her coloring, with her blue eyes, blonde hair, and peachy skin, that usually indicates that a client can wear three or more colors at once because they're repeating those three hues that they have in their complexion. And uh, the brightness of her skin absolutely allowed black to work. Black near her face, black in large amounts, a black dress, black coat, all is possible um, with, with black. It's a lighter black. It's one of my favorite swatches. I named it when we first bought it at the fabric store. It's called Sunset Boulevard, and what it is, it looks like asphalt with glitter thrown into it. So it's a beautiful, light, bright, soft black is what it is, was her, her, was her darkest black, not a black velvet. That would be light absorbing. In fact, this palette contains almost no velvets because it's all cotton. It's, um, they're various different textures of some beautiful minky fabrics in here. There's some gorgeous suede that are throughout the palette. Um, 
it's, uh, there's something about the fabric that is just so extraordinarily wonderful. If you had your colors done somewhere else and you were thinking, oh, that was great, that was fine then, but it just wasn't mm, the real authentic me being expressed, come in absolutely and have a custom color analysis. You'll be very glad you're, you did. I've done this work for over 40 years and I've seen over 24,000 clients. And it's new, new every time I do a palette. It's like doing portraits every day. And having the bachelor's degree in art, I'm using that art degree absolutely to uh, its utmost. So the grays and blacks are conservative neutrals and so are the whites. She did actually bright cotton white and cream white and uh, not large amounts of white. It'd be a little bit weak on her in, in, a, in a large amount, but she can uh, do a blouse, a jacket, a skirt, pants, or a sweater. I check also different colors of metals against the client's complexion. And the ones that really brightened her up were the shiny silver and the shiny gold. Again, there's this idea that you can only do cool or warm um, and there's no overlap and that's not the case for most people. Um, in fact, when I, uh, when I analyze a palette, I rarely see anyone ever be one category. Uh, we use the terms color harmonies, not seasons or not types to refer to the, the color qualities in the person. She's very close to 100%. Uh, what we call lively bright. And so these light bright metals, the shiny silver, the shiny gold, really interacted very positively with her coloring. So Lynette, you have incredible choices here. You really, I hope you go down to La Jolla or you go up to Santa Barbara to find your resort wear because you have those kinds of colors and it's really wonderful to see. And um, there are others out there who might be might have color envy, in fact, with a palette that's this light and bright. So congratulations, good luck with this, and I know that we'll probably follow up on FaceTime or Skype to discuss uh, the working with them. Also for clients, we do include uh, uh, guidelines for choosing necklines, prints, and patterns. That's included, included right in the analysis. Also color combining information. As an artist, I find that's essential uh, whether you do contrast or multiple colors or more blended, those are all very, very important art qualities to have. In fact, this is um, a, in uh, embracing the principles of art and applying it to human design, which is really what this is about. This is not labeling people by season or anything like that. This is an unbridled, unlimited kind of work in color that's just phenomenal. And our company's been around since 1964, and we've always done custom work like this. So have fun with this. I know you will enjoy.